seekers. So recently someone asked me why they keep attracting the same type of people. So today I'm going to talk about three reasons, well maybe three reasons why you keep attracting the same type of people and what you can do about it. So the first reason that you keep attracting the same type of people is you keep saying you attract the same type of people. So the universe hears everything that we say and think and feel about ourselves and we're never wrong. The universe just always makes us right. So if we say I live an amazing, abundant, prosperous, joyful life, then the universe says, okay. But if we say I'm always sick, I'm always broke, I never feel good, I'm tired, then the universe says, okay. And it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just a thing, it just is. It's just like the GPS or a radio. So like if you put in ice cream shop on the GPS, the GPS isn't gonna say to you, you know you really need to lose 10 pounds or you got really sick the last time you ate ice cream. No, the GPS is gonna say, straight ahead, turn right at the next corner. You have arrived. The GPS doesn't care. The GPS is just going to do what you say, and the universe is the same way. So you can just do whatever you want. The universe lets you do whatever you want. God, universe, whatever. You have free will to do whatever you want. And it's fine either way. Um, I don't believe that the universe punishes you or rewards you. It just vibes with you. So, like a radio station. So if you tune into 106.1, or you tune into 94.5, one of those radio stations is not necessarily better than the other. They're just different frequencies. So whatever frequency you tune into, that's when, what you're going to get. It's not a punishment or a reward. It's just you're tuning into a different vibration or tuning into a different frequency. So you will receive whatever you tune into. It's not a good or a bad thing on a universal perspective. Of course, as a human, it feels good or it feels bad one way or the other but universally things aren't good or bad it's just they just are it always feels better to receive love and to receive money and good things things that we deem as good it feels better to us as humans so we would look at that as a reward or a benefit than to always be broke or always be heartbroken we look at those as punishments but it's not it's just whatever you're tuning into, that's what you're going to receive. So if you keep saying, I always attract women who use me, or I always attract men who never want a relationship or always cheat on me, then the universe is going to say, okay, that must be what you want. You keep talking about it and thinking about it, and that's what you're giving your energy to. So that's what you're going to keep getting. second reason that you keep attracting the same type of person is it's all in your head you're making it up if you have it in your mind that men don't appreciate me for example which is something that I have dealt with you're gonna find evidence to support that men don't appreciate you so for me you know I have it in my head men don't appreciate men don't value me um, even though I've had many many men who well, I shouldn't say many, many men. I'm not out there like that anymore. <laughs> um, but I've had people who have shown me so much love, so much appreciation, and shown me that they did value me. But because I have this story in the back of my head just playing that men don't appreciate, men don't value me, then I look for evidence to support that theory that I have. So it might not even be someone's intent. They might not, they might totally value you or whatever your thing is, um, if you think people use you or whatever. That might not be their intent, but because you are looking for that, you're gonna find it. You're gonna, any little thing, you can say, oh, see, they're using me just like every other woman or they don't value me just like every other man. You're gonna find evidence, even if it's not that's not who they are, that's who you are creating them to be. It's really just programming from a long time ago and you have not cleared that. So whoever you come in contact with, if you don't clear that programming or that story, the theory, whatever you have, you're going to find those types of people because that's what you're creating them to be. And 
the third reason that you keep attracting the same type of people is that you have some sort of lesson to learn and you haven't learned it yet. So I look at life as like a big stage play. So everyone in your life has a role to play. So when your soul came here to this planet, you had a purpose for your soul. You had something that you wanted to learn. I look at life as a big game. Like, I believe in multiple lifetimes. I don't know what you believe in, but you watch my videos, I'm gonna tell you what I believe in. I believe in multiple lifetimes, um, and I feel like each lifetime is about us evolving in some sort of different way. So, you know, this lifetime you're saying maybe I need to learn how to grow in this area and you will put people into your life into your stage play that will help you to grow in those areas so even though they might suck as people you do not like them you don't want to deal with them there's a purpose for them there's a reason that they're in your life and there's something about them something about your interaction together that's going to help you grow that's going to help your soul evolve there's a reason your soul came here like there's an evolutionary process that's going on something that your soul wants to grow from in this lifetime and so the way that we do that is through our relationships with other people your soul chose to have this life to have your body to have your face to have your family it's all for a purpose and the purpose is constant evolution you attract certain people you put certain people into your life for you to help to help you learn lessons so if you break up with Tommy and you didn't learn your lesson from that relationship you're gonna attract jimmy and he's gonna help try and teach you that lesson it just keeps the lesson will repeat over and over and over and over again until you learn the lesson but once you learn the lesson then there's no need to repeat it and hence you will not continue to attract the same type of people because you've learned your lesson so everyone in your life like i said you're on a stage play that's how i look at it so everyone in your life is playing the role perfectly exactly how they're supposed to play it in order for you to evolve so even if you don't like their role even if you wish they weren't in your life ever you never knew them they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do in order for you to evolve and grow in this lifetime the way that you chose to and to piggyback off that last point sometimes the lesson that you need to learn is some trait about yourself Life is a mirror, like everything on the ex external world is a reflection of what's going on in your internal world. There's a saying in the metaphysical community, if you spot it, you got it. That means that if there's something in someone else that you don't like, then that thing is going on in you. And I hate this, like I hate it with a passion. I, I don't like it because it makes me uncomfortable. There are so many things about other people that I see, well not so many things, but there are things about people that I see and I don't want to admit that I have those things going on. Like control, for example. I definitely have come across a lot of controlling people. So I had to ask myself, how are you being controlling? And it took me a while to realize that I am very controlling in certain aspects of my life. Um, and it was difficult for me to admit that, but it's, the freaking truth so I had to be honest with myself okay so now you know the three reasons why and there are of course three corresponding things that you can do to stop this cycle so the first thing you have to stop saying it like I said the universe hears everything we say and think and feel about ourselves and it just makes us right all the time if you want to stop attracting certain people, certain types of people, you have to stop saying that you attract those people. You have to affirm what you actually want. What I've done pretty consistently, well, not so consistently lately, but for the past couple years, I've been super consistent previously, not so much right now, but I'm going to get back into it, is journaling what I want. So um, it's just affirmations. Like if someone were to look at my journal, they would be very disappointed because there's no juicy things in there. It's just basically the same things over and over every single day, just saying what I want. But I don't frame it in, I want this, I want that. Because if you say you want something, you're gonna keep wanting it. You have to affirm that you have it now. So time is an illusion for the universe. If you say I want something, it's constantly going to be out there never within your grasp 
So instead of saying I want something, say I have this, I am this. I journal about everything, all different areas of my life. So love, um, which is all sorts of relationships, family, romantic, um, friendships, career, goals, health, finances. I journal about all those aspects of my life. And then I just say how my life is. Even if it doesn't look like that right now, I say what I want in the present tense. Present tense is so important. So, for example, I might journal, um, I have an enchanting love life. I love all people, all people love me without attachment. I have a creative, fun, open-minded, healthy partner. And like I said, I do this for all areas of my life. Um, and I'm gonna do a blog post whenever I get my blog up. Um, and I want to write a book with all the affirmations that I use, but just, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to write a blog post that will give you different examples of affirmations you can use for various areas of your life. Second thing you can stop doing, stop attracting the same type of people, is stop looking for evidence. Get that out of your head that those are the types of people that you attract. And I really suggest letting go of your expectations. Expectations really just set you up for disappointment. So if you are expecting people to do good and they don't, then that's going to disappoint you. And if you're expecting people to do bad, then that just sucks. So that's going to be disappointing. Um, so it's just so much easier if you don't expect things from people and just kind of vibe with them. Just let things flow. It just makes life so much easier if you let go of expectations from people and stop looking for evidence that they're doing you wrong. And the third thing you can do to stop attracting the same type of people is to figure out what lesson you're supposed to learn from this person. There's a reason the same type of people keep coming into your life, so you have to figure it out. Otherwise, it'll keep happening. Like I said, the lesson will repeat until you learn it. I always say God or the universe sends us nothing but angels, so even though they may seem like a devil, um, I always say everyone is an angel because they are here for a perfect purpose in your life. Ask yourself, why do I keep attracting these same type of people? What am I to learn from this? So maybe you keep attracting controlling people or people who like to dominate you and you don't like to be dominated. Some people do, but you don't. So then you have to ask yourself, why do I keep attracting people who try to dominate me? And maybe it's that you have to finally stand up for yourself find your voice and speak your truth that's what it was for me or like i said before maybe it's something within yourself if you keep attracting i'm trying to think of another example besides controlling people who lie then look in yourself and say in what areas am i not being truthful in what areas am i not being totally honest with myself or with others i don't know Whatever your issue is, you have to look and see what lesson you're supposed to learn from it. Because once you learn your lesson, it will stop repeating. Once you get it, there's no need for it to keep repeating. So you can move on to the next lesson in your life. So that is it. Those are the three reasons why you keep attracting the same type of people, type of people and three things that you can do about it. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. And I guess even if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up because I don't know, I'm nice. And share it with other people. Maybe they'll get something out of it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe so that you can see my next videos. All right, see you next time. So, 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 so.